Brewery's white contract mat and I'm basically just pouring it into the bucket, giving it a good mix and a good shake around ready for painting and then ensure it's all nice and smooth. Paint is really good. The white's nice and thick and consistency. Very good coverage. They mix and match any colour you want, which is obviously a bonus. The paint is probably more thicker and obviously got a better coverage than certain companies around for the price difference. Say one coat on your walls with brewers, massive difference. You can tell it covers very well, but if you use a cheaper brand, it literally does not cover. It goes all patchy. Probably put two to three coats of an expensive paint on and probably five coats of a cheap. Spending more money, more time, basically, yeah. <laughs> Is there any specific brushes either for cutting in that you use? My favourite is Prodac, which is what brewers have given me to use. I'll always use them because they're very like flexible and they go with the flow of the paint, they don't drag and they just get a nice easy finish on it. How are you finding the Albany trade paint compared to others that you've used? Brilliant to be honest, like, it's nice and thick, covers well. And you get a nice smooth finish off it. Like I say, if it's very cold, always add a bit of water. It helps spread your paint a bit easier. If it's too thick as well, it can drag the paint. So when you're trying to cut in, you'll find it's taking the paint off because it's so thick. So always put a little bit of water in if it is cold and it just unthickens it up for you a little bit. It is really good paint. I can't, can't grumble with it. The more bolder the colours are, the more coats you can have to do. This will probably need thread. Because you'll just see the differences in, yeah. in a coat. The one in there, so that's not a boldish colour. Mm -hmm. And that's covered quite well already with one coat. Orange as well is another one. You have to do more than two coats. Yeah. 